Hi everyone, this is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Our website is www.itconflict.com and you can check out a little bit more about us on there and look at our blog. We have several posts regarding computer repair, software reviews, and more. And today I have a tutorial for you guys. This is a Dell Inspiron 1545 and what we're going to be doing is just taking the system a little bit apart, getting uh, getting inside the computer, removing the hard drive, and a couple other things. It's pretty simple, but I'm going to have you guys kind of follow along or uh, watch the video so you can kind of uh, know how to do it. So first thing I want to do here is close this. And let's flip the system over. First thing I always do is remove the hard remove the battery. I'm sorry. So we'll just battery slips right out put that guy aside actually move you out of the way okay so looking at the bottom of the system what do we have here well on the Dell Inspiron 1545 the the newer Inspiron models they're pretty simple to get into the computers and swap basic parts out RAM optical drive hard drive uh, everything pretty much is stored right I mean with unscrewing a few screws at least for the hard drive there's a couple screws right here to remove the hard drive and we'll start off with that first so the hard drive is right here in the front lower left of the system if you turned it over we have two screws for that so I'm gonna go ahead and just unscrew those screws There's only two of them the other one I'm gonna have to flip the system over don't lose your screws once I've actually removed those two screws here, we can just slide the hard drive right out. I mean, it is seriously just that simple. If you needed to back this hard drive up or swap the hard drive or anything, I mean, I had it out in less than three minutes, so it is, they're making these computers so easy to just to fix yourself, really, but um, if you don't feel comfortable, of course, hire a technician. We've gotten the hard drive removed. To put that back in, slides back in, screw the screws back on. So you guys that are watching this video for that hard drive removal, there it is. Now if you wanted to upgrade the RAM on this system, you'd start off by just unscrewing this little plate here. I'm going to go through all the screws. There's I think a total of four. There's one, two, three, and we should have four. Once, let's see if that's enough. Is that not enough? You want to make sure you get all the screws. It makes it a lot easier for you. Black screws and a black panel, of course, are going to be. There we go. So it pops off. I just put my screwdriver in, pop the panel right off, and it reveals. Uh, the processor, processors underneath here, our heat sink, we have access to the wireless LAN card, and our memory. And the way our memory comes out is you just pinch these little side stoppers or whatever those are, and your RAM just comes right out just like that. So if you wanted to upgrade this RAM, and if you were on a 64-bit operating system, I believe the Dell Inspiron 1545 will accept 8 gigabytes. So if it does, great. You just got a RAM upgrade and it was simple enough. You didn't have to go take it to a big box store and spend lots of money. And I'm just going ahead. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the RAM back in there. Put this panel back on. One more thing I'll show you guys here on this computer is if you unscrew this screw that's right next to the RAM. This guy what does he do? He actually will release our optical. And there it is. So we already have three major, four major components here, guys, that we can, we have access to. We have the hard drive, we have your optical, we have RAM, and um, we have the processor, which is just, again, right under here. So to put everything back together, I'm going to slide the optical drive back in, give it a firm tug in there just so firm push just so I know he connects properly and we'll go ahead and put this screw back in there 
you don't have to tighten it too tight. You know, you're not gonna, you know, break it or anything. So you don't want to do that. And we'll just start screwing these back on, like so. I don't know if there's any particular order they need to go in. I just know that um, I push the panel in, it pops down. I'm not gonna complicate it. There we go. Everything feels snug. Hard drive. He's gonna go in right there. And those two screws we took off from the hard drive. We'll just plug those screws back in. And we have our battery here, so we'll just connect the battery. And just for fun, let's flip the computer over and get it booted. Alright, just that easy. If you guys had any questions, please leave them in the comments section. You can find us uh, on our website, www.itconflict.com. Please follow us on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash itconflict. Like us on Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash itconflict. And of course, subscribe on YouTube. Again, thanks for watching.